going to be using the TI-83 Plus financial calculator to work through some basic time value of money problems using the five key approach. One thing I want to point out is TI-83 Plus and TI-84 work the same way from a finance perspective. So if you have a TI-84 you're going to be using the same procedure. In order to start a time value of money problem on the TI-83 or TI-84 First thing you want to do is press this apps, go into your applications, and you'll see one of your applications is finance. Just highlight that, press enter to select, and you'll see several different time value of money problem or applications, one of which is solver, that's the main one we're going to use for the five key approach. If you scroll down, you'll see a net present value and an internal rate of return, which we're also going to use, and an effective interest rate, which we're going to use in later video or later videos. So now just scroll back up, use those up and down arrows, till you're up at the time value of money solver. Press enter, and you go right into an on-screen five key approach. Everything that you need is right up here in the five key approach. Now let's look at our problem. In our example problem, you deposit 7000 into the bank today. You're going to earn a 6.5% rate of interest or rate of return on your deposit. How much are you going to have after 15 years assuming annual compounding? Now this is a basic five key approach. We're trying to solve for how much we're going to have after 15 years, so we're solving for the future value. So let's just go ahead and put up our five key approach. First thing we always have is N, how many periods do we have? And N in this case is 15 years. Next we have our interest rate, our I slash Y, and here we have a 6.5% rate of return, our interest rate. And next we have our present value. Present value is the $7,000 that we deposit into the bank today. Present value is our starting point. Payment is an annuity stream. In this problem we do not have an annuity so we just want to zero out that payment button. And lastly we said we were solving for our value after 15 years. So we're solving for our future value. Now we just need to put this into our financial calculator. Before I start, I want to point out that the on-screen solver in the TI-83 and TI-84 has the periods per year and the end or beginning of period payments set right on that screen. Our periods per year, because we're assuming annual compounding in this problem, should be 1. Notice on my calculator it's set up right now for 12. 12 is monthly compounding. That works great for car payments or mortgage payments. But in this problem we want it to be one period per year. So we're just going to set that to one. Use the up arrow to go back up. And notice that automatically changed both the periods per year and the compounding periods per year. Now we just want to plug in our values from this problem right into our financial calculator and you can see the first value that we had was 15 for our n so we plug that in use this arrow tabs to go down our interest rate was 6.5 percent so we want to plug that into our calculator use the arrow to go down to our present value which is 7,000. Go down. Payment was just zero and we're solving for the future value. Now in order to solve for the variable we're trying to find in the five key approach with the TI-83 and TI-84 we want to go down to this bottom where you can see the solve there. It's a shift, green shift of the inner. So we want to press this green shift here, then solve. You can see our answer, 
two dollars and eighty nine cents now notice that answer came out as a negative eighteen thousand the reason for that is we have a positive seven thousand so the calculator is always trying to balance those out if you're going to get seven thousand you have to give up eighteen thousand fifteen years later if we would have made that 7,000 negative, this answer would have came out positive. Now we know the answer is positive, so we don't have to worry about that end result. But what we're going to find is whenever you're dealing with a financial calculator, if you have two or more non-zero values that you're inputting for present value, payment, or future value, you do have to be careful with your signs. And we'll see that in our last example of this video with uh, solving for the interest rate. With our next problem, we're now saving for retirement. We want to save $4,000 per year at the end of each year. That $4,000 per year tells us we're dealing with an annuity here. Whenever you see the words per year, per month, or each period, each year, you know that you're dealing with an annuity. So we're going to save $4,000 per year at the end of each year for the next 25 years. We want to earn an 8% rate of return. And how much will we have at the end of the 25 years? So we're solving for a future value. So again, it's just a matter of the five key approach. We want to know how much we're going to have at the end of 25 years. So 25 is our N. We were earning an 8% rate of return. So 8% is our interest per year. Our present value, in this example, we're starting out with nothing. So we zero out the present value and we're going to be saving four thousand dollars per year so that four thousand is our payment that's our annuity stream lastly we're solving for our future value so now we've got our problem set up we just want to go to our financial calculator again now my last problem is still on here but all i need to do is go start re-entering stuff my n is now not 15 but 25 see that from my problem my interest rate is eight percent so just put in eight for my interest my present value is zero in this example so I just zero that out my payment is the four thousand per year that I'm putting away into my retirement plan and now I want one period per year on here so I leave that p slash y at one and I want to solve for future value so again green shift solve and at retirement I'm gonna have two hundred ninety two thousand four hundred twenty three dollars and seventy six cents two hundred ninety two thousand four hundred twenty three 